try that drawer yep. there. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction and commentary as we hop into The Bear Season 2, Episode 7. This one is going to be titled Forks. Now, I want to let y'all know that I'm currently overseas right now. I'm in Korea, so my apologies for the drastic setting uh, or rather bland setting, but there's really no angle I can I can I can angle this at without it being completely blown out. So again, I apologize, but I wanted to be able to give this to y'all as always. And I hope that you guys are doing good. But yeah, last episode was absolutely crazy. <laughs> it was it was crazy. I was not expecting to see so many people on screen uh, for an entire hour uh, straight of just incredible dialogue incredible writing chemistry off the charts from everyone it wasn't just from you know uh like the ones that i definitely you know stood out to me was you know bob odenkirk you know because we watched better call Saul. but it seemed like everyone everyone that was within that episode just brought their a game and it seemed like such a great time on set even though the material was very heavy there was a lot of heavy material i mean there was family drama uh to the point to where there's family trauma <laughs> but uh there was a lot of beautiful moments as well too i feel like there was a a beautiful symphony of what the holidays or what uh family dinners just bring forth to the table quite literally um and i just wanted to just again highlight how good that episode was and now you know coming from that episode and swinging it back into uh, what i'm gonna assume is gonna be the present um, and seeing where things pick up, you know, where things are left off and how things are going to be able to develop and to, you know, and, and how they're also going to, you know, just, just seeing where things are going to lead to this, this TV show is, is very different from a lot of TV shows that we've watched on this channel. Um, you know, just seeing the progression of one character or two characters like in Better Call Saul or you know there's other characters that we we focus on in that but it seems like there's a uh, a climax a point to reach towards a, uh, a point to strive towards um, and not to say that the bear doesn't have it clearly there's a goal you know clearly there's the restaurant clearly there's uh, people's motivations but there's such a human element to this and I highlight that multiple times my bad if you guys are getting annoyed by me continuing to say human element, but this show does such a brilliant job at highlighting that and why that's important. And it leaves a very ambiguous feeling, uh, unlike any other TV show that I've watched on this channel. So that's why it's uh, it's very difficult to kind of put into words where the uh, motivation is leading towards because it feels as though that this is such a organic and natural progression of the human element and usually most of the times you know our lives aren't like better call Saul we're not daredevil we're not you know breaking bad um, this one is a lot more organic it's a lot more subtle and the victories are a lot more smaller and you know it, it just again it feels a lot more relatable and looking at that from a directing standpoint I think that is just beautifully done uh, the writing is a beautiful it, it, it just does such a beautiful job at highlighting why it is these small victories mean so much to these characters um, and just what they're going through and the feeling of when you know their identity is kind of being in conflict there's a lot of things that are going on that I think that you know we as people the audience members watching this can strongly relate to uh, that I find very fascinating because usually the TV shows that we watch they have such a narrative strong point there's a there's a there's a feeling of distance between the audience and the person or the story that they're watching or relating to but it seems like the bear does such a great job at um, walking in tandem with that with that connection with its audience and that is a very special feeling so I'm excited to see where this leads off to and where we head to in this episode but again I wrote I wanted to highlight just how good the last episode was it was just like that that was phenomenal that was really impressive um, and I'm excited to jump into this and again I apologize for the you know different setup I hope it doesn't you know change too much or if the audio is a little weird again I apologize but 
you know, I'm excited to jump into the series. None of the less, no matter where I am, I, I'm, I'm happy and I'm super blessed to be able to kind of take this on the road with me. Um, just speaking on the human element, because I think traveling is another reason uh, to build yourself as a human and to, you know, do what you can as a human. So not only is it just, you know, I'm highlighting what I think the themes are in the show, but I is practicing what I preach. I, I feel such a close connection with the show because of the theme of the human element because of the themes that i personally explore um outside of youtube outside of you know even you know the the creation of my art and craft and everything at the end of the day we're human so i'm excited to jump into this one this one is going to be titled forks as always y'all if you want to be able to support the channel the best way to do so is by checking out the patreon you can get early access all that good stuff you can also support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe and at the end of the day you don't have to do any of those things i hope that you can just sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into the bear the very first thing is that, you know, in order to get better, you change limits. Wow. She's she's diving into the coach book that she's been reading for real. It's never a destination. Pretty sure they made a movie about this. Don't hate me. I don't think I've seen it. So if you want me to watch it, I'm definitely down to do that. Obviously, I wanted to weed that team. You know, what a what an interesting life it is to be a leader i feel like we've all or maybe at least a few of us had that stage where we looked into motivational videos just pushing ourselves to strive for whatever goal that we're trying to go after i don't know if you guys still do that now it might be corny or something but i remember that used to be the thing Especially when I was, you know, in high school. Whew. I absolutely love these shots of the city, man. They make Chicago just feel alive. You know, I'm sure it is alive very much when you're there. But man, they do such a good job highlighting that in the show. I'm not going to lie, it almost looks like the Punisher right here. <laughs> it almost looks like the Punisher right here. This almost looks and feels like a whole different show right now. <laughs> Holy crap. Man's feeling like micro. <laughs> Forks. No, no, I'm Richard. Okay. I'm Garrett, backway staff. Your forks. Change your shirt. Got you. All right, so we understand the titling of this episode. Every second counts. He's about to probably get a very interesting awakening here. Because usually he is very much comfortable being in charge. But here he's just like, you know, everyone else. There's, a, there's an order to this. It's like going to boot camp. Thanks, Junior. Where's the boss? Which one? Big boss. Capo. Terry. Chef Terry's always watching. Man. <laughs> I love this. I love this. He's low-key a, a, a favorite of mine. I feel like he has such potential. And it's just, it's just, it's buried deep in there, man. I love it. I just, just love his style, man. His attitude is great. His attitude has such potential for, for greatness as well, too. You know, it just needs to he needs to clean them forks. And again, everybody is putting their work and everybody's putting in their efforts to get ready for their restaurant to open up. They got a deadline. They're trying to hit it. I love that everybody's working together, you know, going through their own trials. I also really enjoy the matching cuts here. You know, to kind of like synchronize the editing again. Everybody working together. Every second counts. All right. They got a month to open. Yeah, I do. Why? Because I love this, Richie. I love this so much, dude. Mm, passion. Passion, passion, passion. That's the one thing Richie just, again, we said it before. 
cars because we that passion, that drive, that builds his identity. He needs to get that. He needs to find it. He needs to work for it. Hmm. Every day here is the freaking Super Bowl. You wow. don't have to drink the Kool-Aid, Richie. I just need you to respect me. Whoo. Love this. Love this. See what I'm saying? These conversations are just incredible. I absolutely love the writing in this show. It's incredible. And according to Jill's Instagram, it's always been her dream to dine at a three-star restaurant, and they have been, quote, saving up for this. I want to go above and beyond tonight. Every That's cool. I, I mean, I'm sure they do this. They wouldn't be showing it as if, like, you know, restaurants don't do this, but that is incredible that restaurants do that. You sure shit better own up to it. Because we sure shit are going to pay for it. Now get back to work. Fuck you, Garrett. Yes, chef. Fuck me. <laughs> Yo, why you point him out like that? <laughs> oh, my God. That was a little bit of Gordon Ramsay right there. Jeez. Oh, yo, uh, Jimmy, um, I got those Taylor Swift ticks. You did? Yeah. Damn. How did you get Taylor Swift tickets, bro? What the heck? No, 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 it's I, I that's so sweet. That's that silence hurt. Damn, that silence hurt. Jeez. Yikes. Are you all right? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I just want you to hear it from me. Um, mm, here we go. Oh, it's going to hurt, man. What'd you say? I said yes. Ah, man. Ah. Damn. Oh, that this that's never easy. That is never easy. Yikes. Mm. Wow. With the train audio overlapping his I love you. Wow. That's man. Again, I love how Chicago itself is a character here. This music is beautiful. They've been playing some incredible music this entire episode, but man, I'm excited for this character, man. I really am. He's one of my favorites. Trailer day. Oh, let's go. I love these camera movements. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Yo. Sam Ramsey is behind this camera right now. <laughs> Bogey's on 19, walk everything fast. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where I've seen her before. I feel like she's in like a video game or something. Blue is out of town, green is a VIP, and blue means kitchen. I don't know what video game, but I feel like she's from a video game. She looks like one, one of the characters. What's that ticking? Wait list. The minute somebody no shows or cancels, we pull somebody up. How do they get here that fast? Oh, we'll send a car. Gangster. <laughs> that is pretty OG. Are you kidding me? That's pretty fire. I'm on deck. Get them out fast, please. Thank you. 12, walking out. Let's pick it up. Every second counts. Yeah. Three, going to 21. Mm, I love the rhythm just merging into a unison sound. You know, all those sounds that we heard separately are now combining into one symphony. It's like an orchestra. Everybody has to lock in. Everybody has to align themselves. Bro, dropping a plate is probably just nuclear. That's probably equivalent to just... <laughs> just 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 setting off a nuclear explosion <laughs> beautiful obviously it's not it's just a figure of speech come on now y'all thank you oh my god just dive in chef terry's done it again i don't know i do gotta say it's a little it's a little bit of a shame that this type of stuff is just it's almost gate kept you know it's it's gate kept financially what's up dude Pick up for Richard. Corner. Corner. Behind. Behind on it. Man, I love the filmmaking in this episode. Wow, they are doing a bunch of things that are just connecting. 
Do Hamachi, please. Basil gel. Kill yes, 31, 33, yes, chef. go. Micro basil. Yes, chef. Micro basil. Fuck yes. Language. Pick up wet you, please. I love his ad libs, bro. Come on. <laughs> I would love to be this dude's friend, man. He might be a pain, but dude, authentic, bro. Sampling one of my personal favorite dishes, Pequod's deep dish. No. Oh, you did not. I love it. I love that. I love that. <laughs> he's great. He's locked in, man. I love how much joy and how much fun he's having. It's way better than New York. Yes. Don't you say that to my mom. Don't you say that to my mom. Just say it. It's just for the I think it's such a beautiful thing, too, that service is such a... It's almost just as important as the actual food. All right, let's go. Another one. Go. Oh, come on. That's Bercy. Wait, wait, wait. No. Velote derivative. That's an alum. Another thing, too, is that he's finding community. He's finding friendships, you know? He's not really doing this alone. Why you work at a restaurant? I don't know, man, because... A couple years ago, I had a drinking problem. Mm. And I got sober. I'm good now, you know, like I feel healthy. Dude, the, the kitchen is quite literally almost like a healthy boot camp. Not to say that boot camps aren't healthy. It just depends on which one. And I guess that applies to the kitchen too. It's cool that people can find themselves here. You know, like it was like okay. medical. That's a little much. I'm just saying, I think that's why restaurants and hospitals use the same word. Hospitality. Mm. Yep. We were just talking about that. Hospitality. Yep. If something opens up, you know. Richie, that'd be awesome, but you know it's not my call. Mm. That's respectable. At least he's not, you know, the last thing you want is somebody bullcrapping you just to look out for your feelings, you know? <sighs> Dude, some of the soundtracks, I don't know if you guys know about this anime called Monogatari. I don't know. Maybe the person who looked up a lot of these or was inspired to create the music was into that anime. We have one more shot. How bad is it if we fail that one? It's fucking bad. Fucking ah! shit! God damn it! Please be careful. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, man. <laughs> You're the fucking jack off, Carmen. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. No! Ah! Fucking ah! Christ! Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'll talk Take to you later. I actually think I hurt myself. <laughs> this dude was just over here getting absolutely annihilated, bro. <laughs> he could die from doing that. <laughs> bro, some people just, like, they, they need this purpose, man. And that's not a bad thing. That's not, like, a fault at all. I feel like anything that helps you become the best version of yourself and the best version for other people and becomes a net positive for humanity... I'm never going to knock that, man. But yeah, man, I know people like Richie, bro. I'm sure you guys do, too. That's why the show is so great. Yo, yo, yo. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know why that got me so hyped. It almost looked like I saw like a cameo. I guess technically that was a cameo, but you guys know what I'm saying. You know where the polish is? The bullshit keeps moving. Try that drawer yep. there. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Dude, this show is awesome. <laughs> now that's a cameo. Yeah, same. Staff sergeant. Cool, bro. A lot of standards. <laughs> Turns out I like standards. God, these conversations are like, oh my God, they're like gems. They're they're coated in diamonds, man. How's that? Yeah, it's great. I love her earrings, by the way, too. Can I do another one? Yeah. It's gorgeous. I think they match Carmen and Richie's eyes. And just the color palette overall for this episode, the blue. Feels attached. I think time spent doing this is time well spent. Mm. Time well spent? That's what it's all about? Yeah, I think so. Time is the one thing you're going to be spending with forever. <laughs> you might as well spend it well. And I saw the sign. It was an actual sign. It was a restaurant for lease sign. I love the acting she's delivering right now. I mean, like, oh, my God. It's like 
you can feel the reminiscence of that memory. You know, the smiles that go in and out of her face. He believes in you, you know. <laughs> what makes you say that? He told me. Wow. He said you're good with people. He's not wrong. That's good, man. It's golden. That is golden. Mm. Time well spent. Every second counts. I love how much the importance of time is in this in this episode, man. Especially when it comes to Richie. Oh my God, Taylor Swift. Here we go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, and that is the end to that episode. All right, everybody, we just got done episode seven, Forks. Again, this series is it's so special, man. Um, I, I don't even know how to really how how to categorize this because it's it's given me so much joy that I want to put it up there with Better Call Saul. And it that sounds crazy because we're looking at it from like. The, the perspective of art, <laughs> the perspective of screenwriting and the elegance of filmmaking in it, you know, which are which is important. You know, I'm, I'm just saying that in a tone because it's funny. Um, you know, it definitely is not up there with like, you know, Better Call Saul and like the the crazy frame by frame. Just uh, like it's 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 incredible, right? Um, if you guys know anime, this is how I would describe it. If you guys don't know anime, this is about to go way over your heads, but I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I would describe this being like Naruto and Better Call Saul being like Berserk or Vagabond, where you have like these masterpieces, but then you have shows that just, that just, they hit you personally and they make you feel as if these, uh, these bodies of work are equal you know, to these masterpieces. And in a way, you know, who cares, right? You like, I, I don't care too much about ranking or anything like that. If you guys notice, I don't do any ratings or anything like that. I don't really care about that. Uh, it's more or less how it feels to you. And I'm not gonna lie, this series, along with like, you know, Mr. Robot as well, but primarily this series, because it's so different from all the other series that we that we've watched on this channel, uh, because most of them are so narrative driven and their, their force and their engine is fueled by this powerful craft of filmmaking. And not to say that the bear doesn't have any of that, obviously it does, but the human element, the heartbeat of this series is so pronounced and it's so real and you can feel the texture of it that, yo, I'm putting it up there with it. <laughs> this, this series has quite literally blown me away and I found myself even you know, in other countries and other walks of life, reminiscing on moments and themes that, you know, th that have that have been portrayed in this series. And I feel like that is just as important, you know, as creating a masterpiece of filmmaking elegance and all that good stuff. You know, I, I feel like having something that speaks to the human and in, 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 in such a way is such a powerful thing, such a beautiful thing. And I find that to be so incredible. It's like kind of similar to, you know, I, I mean, and not even similar, it's exactly like how food is, right? You can put a lot of science and craft and meticulous effort into creating the almost like this incredible elaborate dish, right? Where everything is just balanced and you can scientifically say this is the reason why I did that and mathematically I did it like this and then I personalized it like that the fork the spoon the plate the sauce the, all of it right but at the end of the day I'm gonna always choose my mom's cooking bro <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I'm always gonna you know choose my mom's big mac and cheese fam you know it's 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 like that I feel like the the bear is like mama's big mac and cheese I feel like that is a fire. That's a fire quote right there. <laughs> if you guys made it this far, um, yeah, yeah. This is this is why I hope you guys be listening in to the end. But yeah, this this is really really fun and it's um it's very heartwarming. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, like it, it's it's healthy. This is truly this is truly a healthy digestion of a show. And I'm so happy that they decided to take 
it this way because they could have easily took a narrative approach where they hyper focus on Karm and his struggles and not to say that it wouldn't be great or anything like that but I feel like it would have lost the human element because we're not focusing we're not we're not we're not exploring these other ambiguous segments of of just people right and I love that this show really just took the approach of like we want to highlight people you know that's that's a beautiful that's a beautiful discovery um, I said that in season one and the fact that they're exploring it even further like way further in season two it just warms my heart that that's really great and the fact that it's also getting a lot of love and it's getting a lot of attention um, deservingly uh, for all, all, all its, you know, all the reasons, I think it's also another um, heartwarming thing to uh, realize, and I hope it motivates people and storytellers to just, you know, tackle a narrative, tackle uh, the themes and walks of life in a similar fashion, where it doesn't have to be this, this incredible epic journey or descent or uh, corruption of a character, but it can just be this this showcasing of, uh, of an element that is ingrained to, you know, life itself, right? Every second counts. Guys, I'm going to hop into the next episode. As always, if you guys want to follow me, check out the Patreon. We do two episodes per week, but you know, if you guys don't want to do that, it's all good. I'll see y'all next week. So it's all good. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is, this is good. This is really good. This is healthy food. I would say this is definitely healthy food. As always, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we we're just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches, cause they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.